that way to me. So this one, like you see from the title, it's about the traditional rulers in Abia State. And as soon as I take no say, no government will really succeed if you no know, work closely with the traditional rulers of the state because one way or the other, we they talk say they not really they play a lot of role, but at the same time they play a very massive role. Yesterday I did a video about Alex Oti, the um, current governor of Abia State, under the Labour Party. Uh, the three things he actually, I would say, three most important things he actually achieved in 30 days in office. While a lot of you guys were like, ah, all these things are not important. You should do this. You should do that. Guys, I did not say the things he has done over the whole time. I said three things like I highlighted some of the most important things that he has done in 30 days. So maybe the entire tenure will they talk about. So before we go into this proper video, the, the real essence of this video today, I want to quickly give you guys a, a slight update from the court hearing today. Uh, yes, in Abuja, I believe a lot of us here are obedient and we they still they look up to say okay how far what did they happen with the court issue is there in progress is they are they making progress at all so yesterday yeah INEC actually closed their case and yes today it was actually the case of um, Tinubu splash uh, Shetima yes they were supposed to present their case and they presented one witness who actually did his um, blah 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 let me just read this down so for the final address but plus shetima have 10 days starting from today to submit their final written address labor party will have a subsequent seven day period to file a response after which after which i next splash bat splash apc have five days to respond will they only back on san inform the court that all party will be filed separately and will be 10 pages each final written address will be 40 pages the well and yes after this whole uh, filing of case then we will now get to yeah get, getting to hear what uh, will be the court final decision on this presidential uh, petition tribunal that has been ongoing for um, over the period of months now a lot of people were thinking okay this uh, here and they go finish them even before they swear in uh, Tinubu. But well, they did not finish it because even then it was still the pre hearing process that they were going into. And now they don't finish that one. Um, a Labour Party has submitted all of their evidence while APC did submit their own. Although APC never had a witness, they did not have a witness. They just closed their case, submitted their. I think the file of 18 documents and they were able to close their case. So now we are moving on to the next phase. Now, but today there was no adjournment. All they said was a date will be disclosed when the courts will resume hearing again. That was how the court case went there today. So let's go back to the main essence of this video, which is actually the Alex Uti and the traditional rulers that he actually had a meeting with you know to you know work for the development of india yes that man is really really putting a lot of effort and yeah i'll just i'm just going to read out what he tweeted um concerning the entire agenda of the meeting and why they have to host that particular meeting and take a very good um, look inside you see i met with the abia state traditional rulers i stress the vital role they play they can play in our share battle against crime i have ex employed them to actively assist the government security efforts and caution that we will act deceitfully against any domain harboring criminals i retreated my commitment to enhance crucial sectors like education healthcare infrastructure i am pleased to reports that our traditional rulers express their anonymous support and convey their confidence in my ability to meet the high expectation of the people of Abia state. Well, I, I, I always say this, when you work with people that, when you work with the entire people, like you are a leader that the people actually choose, they don't get choice, they will like you. And at all giving costs, they will support, support you and ensure that you are properly 
guided like take for example when the governor of uh, uh airborne state worked with the people of Ad airborne state you could see that the development and the, the states entirely just changed no two mouth here no side out here and all of that and we are praying that abia state too should become great too and yes people should be confident enough to go back to their home states to invest to establish things now, like the video I posted yesterday, a lot of you guys are expecting that, okay, under 30 days, he will do airport, he will do good roads. No. These things take time. And it's a gradual process. You map out these things, map them out completely before you start execution. Thank you guys for watching this video. This is actually a brief video. Now, uh, Alex Ruti said something inside his inauguration speech that I really want you guys to know. It has to do with the development of the state particularly so watch this video don't forget to subscribe if you're new here share your thoughts in the comments below the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. I, Dr. Alex Oti, OFR, do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and clear to allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And as the governor of Abia State, I will discharge my duty to the best of my ability, faithfully, and in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law, along with the interest of sovereignty, integrity, solidarity, learning, and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That I will strive to preserve the fundamental objectives and directive principles of state policy contained in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Exercise the authority vested in me as governor, so as to defeat or prejudice the authority lawfully vested in the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and so as not to endanger the constituents of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that I will not allow my personal interest to influence my official conduct or, or my official decision. That I will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That I will abide by the code of conduct contained in the fifth schedule of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That in all circumstances, I will do right to honor of people according to law, without fear or favor, affection or ill will, that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person any matter which shall be brought under my consideration or shall be known to me as governor of my state, except as may be required. Of my duties as governor, and that I will devote myself to the service and well being of the people of Nigeria. So help me.